and welcome to Bees Jar. My name's Billy, and on today's tutorial, I'd like to show you how to create this Swarovski and Bugle black diamond necklace. For our project today, we're going to be using the sterling silver toggle clasp, four millimeter jump rings, the size 15 Mayuki seed beads, a 6mm bugle, 4mm Swarovski pearls and 6mm Swarovski pearls and tool wise I've got two pairs of flat nose pliers and my precision scissors and I've already pre-cut about a metre and a half of fire line and threaded my beading needle which is a size 10 beading needle. Okay. Nice and easy start with this one, we're just going to put 15 of the seed beads onto the needle. So I'm just going to do a double check that I've got the right amount. So I've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, so we've got 15 of the seed beads and I'm going to also take these down the thread so we're just going to go all the way to the end of our thread. Now you do want to leave a tail end that we're going to tuck in at the finish of the project so by that I mean a section of this thread isn't going to be pulled through so I'm probably going to leave about 15 to 20 centimetres. So I've got my 15 there and I am just going to do a recheck as well just to make sure we have the right amount. So I've definitely got the 15 on here. And then I'm going to use my needle and I'm going to go back through the very first of the seed beads. So I'm just going back on it like so. And then we're going to pull that all the way through and make a loop with these seed beads. So all the seed beads are now in a loop and I'm ready to start threading. What I'm going to do at this moment though is I'm going to take my two pairs of flat nose pliers and I'm going to open one of my four millimeter jump rings. So you just want the split of the jump ring facing upwards and then you take the other side. You can do this with just one pair of pliers but I like to uh, keep my fingernails safe. So we're just going to get the other side and close that back, sorry no I'm not, I'm going to hook it on to my loop of seed beads here. So I've attached both the loop of the seed beads and one side of the toggle clasp and then I'm closing my jump ring. It's important now to make sure that the jump ring's properly together and there's no gap. So now I'm going to start threading the necklace up. So we've got our loop and on the string with the needle on, I'm going to add one of the six millimeter pearls. So I'm just going to thread through that and take that up to the seed beads. And you want that tail end sticking out at the moment because we're going to go back to that at the end of the project. So we've got our pearl on and then I'm going to thread one of the 6mm bugle beads, a 4mm crystal and another bugle. So that's what we've got strung onto our thread so far. So we've got our loop of beads, 6mm bugle, 4mm crystal and a bugle. 
and then we're going to go back to the six millimeter. You're just going to continue with this threading method until you have the length of the necklace that you require. So we're just going to do a straightforward string on a row. So I've finished threading my beautiful necklace up here and I'm ready to move on to attaching the other side of the fastener before we return and go back through the necklace to make the diamonds. So I'm going to take my clasp, so the opposite side of the clasp and the other 4mm jump ring and I'm going to open it as we did the first side. So I'm just going to open that up and I'm going to hook that on. Closing that back together. Like I say, always check there's a bit of a, an overlap there, so just making sure it's really, really well put together and there's no gaps in the jump ring. And I'm going to take my needle again and we're doing another 15 of the seed beads on this side and then we'll thread the fastening on as well. And we're going to go through a 4mm jump ring on the T of the toggle clasp. Okay. At this point we're going to go back with our needle through the first seed bead that's next to the 6mm pearl and then we're going to take the needle out to the side. So we're going to go through the bead and the pearl and then the needle is going to come out to the side, so not through the bugle. So we're going to go through that one and the pearl and out to the side. And then we're going to pull that all nice and tight so the tension is correct. So we've got our fastener sat there and the 15 seed beads as well. And then we're going to retake our needle and add another 6mm bugle bead. Then a 4mm pearl, another bugle. And that's going to sit up against the first pearl. And then we're going to go back through the next 6mm. So this same bead that's strung here, we're not adding a new one. And we're going to go through and then pull out with the thread. So just through the one pearl there. And that's where we get our diamond shape from. When we finish at the end, we pull this all nice and tight and that will give you this beautiful diamond effect with the bugles and four millimeters. So you're just going to move on. So it's another bugle, four millimeter, bugle and then the same pearl that's already strung onto the thread. And continue in that same method all the way to the opposite side when we'll finish off with the threads going into the project as well. So we're coming up to our last section on this necklace before we're going to finish off the ends and tie the threads back into place. So I'm going to go up through the last pearl and this time, I know we've got the tail end here, but I'm going to go all the way around the seed beads and then back out as well. You don't have to do that all at once, you can take it through the pearl and then slowly make sure that you've gone through every seed bead. So you don't need to rush this part because obviously they are quite tiny so we just want to make sure we've got every single bead as we're going round. I've just gone through one there and as we work round we'll pull it all in tight. So just take your time with this section 
We don't want to miss any of the seed beads with the needle. Or indeed the jump ring. You can manipulate it round, you don't have to always work in one direction if you need to twist it a bit more to the left or right, whichever is comfortable for you when you're working. And then I'm going to take this back out through the pearl. And then if I pull on this tail end, we should get all our tension back on this circle of seed beads. Now this is a little bit complex because you've got the tail end here which we're going to sort out in just a moment and then we've got our needle end that we have been working with. So I'm just going to twist this round to make this clearer on how we do it. So my tail ends over this side now and this is the thread with the beading needle on it. So we've come out underneath our pearl. I've pulled my tension in and then we're going to take the needle and you're going to hook underneath the thread between the bugle and pearl. So the thread's actually over the needle now. And as I pull that through, we're going to create a loop with the wire, with the thread, fire line. And I'm going to take the needle back through this loop. And I'm going to pull that knot tight. So I'm pulling down on the thread. And as you can see, we've got our knot formed here now. We're going to go back through the bugle. And then I'm going to do another knot. So under that thread that's running next to the bugle and the pearl, get my loop formed. Through the loop with the needle and pull that in tight. and then back through the pearl. I'm going to do one last one here. And I'm taking this thread back through the bugle bead. So it's now coming out between the 6mm pearl and the bugle. And I'm going to use the precision scissors to cut away that excess thread because we don't need that anymore. Okay. I'm now coming back to the tail end that we had at the start and I'm just going to give that a sharp pull because I want to keep that tension all the way through on this project. Remove the needle from the other thread side and we're going to reattach it onto our starting point. So this was the tail end that's sticking out, I've put the needle back on going to go through the pearl and then I'm going to do the same knot technique that we just did then. That's why I suggest to leave quite a bit at this end because you don't want to have to try and struggle with just a tiny piece of thread to go through all the weaving. Use the precision scissors. I'm going to take that excess off so we no longer need it. And that is your diamond and pearl necklace complete. And the clasp just slips together like so. you've enjoyed today's project and if you have give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
you'll be able to catch up with all of our latest tutorials and product reviews. Until the next time, bye!